Oh, dear. How are you? I'm very excited and very happy to be here. But now, you, this is linking, linking yeah. back. Uh, something stuck in my mind. You have, and I think this is rather exciting, an apartment in New York. Oh. I do. That is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see where we're going with I this? I do. <laughs> we're going towards Queens, aren't we, in every sense of the word. <laughs> yes. Uh, mine's in Manhattan. I'm sure he can travel across uh, to, from Queens to Manhattan. Uh, does he... I mean, he really does <laughs> just bend down with his feather duster and completely... with his stushy, was it? <laughs> I think he does. How? Yes. How? Yes. <laughs> uh, now, another thing, in my little drawer here, I have a book oh, of yours. Yes. Yes. And in here, you reveal... And now cover your ears, it's Lorraine. Naughty now. again, is it? Oh, it's not, not that more naughty. naughty it's not naughty. Right. But in here, Stephen claims that uh, you have said the word "fuck" on television more times in one sitting than anyone of your age. And wait, I believe I added. <laughs> <laughs> That's bizarre. He does know that. <laughs> <laughs> You've written. You see, you are so clever. <laughs> I remember your own bloody books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Yes, it was, uh, it was a programme, it was a very strange programme in C Central Television. Um, did a sort of rather embarrassing battle of the comics in which they had Barry Cryer and some older generation and myself and John Lloyd, the producer of Spitting Image and Blackadder and Ben Elton, supposedly representing what was then the alternative comedians, you see, as they were called, as you remember. And um, the idea was that supposedly we were going to be attacked by them for, for swearing. And so... This woman turned to me, desperately hoping for something controversial, and says, but you do use bad language, don't you? And I said, well, if you remember during the Lady Chatterley trial, Richard Hoggart, the, the cultural commentator and um, academic, had said in defence of Lady Chatterley, uh, which uses the word fuck famously on its last page, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is... Oh, <laughs> With me, bear with me. It's, okay. it's, the, it's the point he made: is that you know we have words for perfectly ordinary things like sleeping and eating, which are good, clean Anglo-Saxon words. The only words we have for our organs of generation are precisely things like that: organs of generation, either very Latinate scientific words like coitus, um, coition, or their horrible little twee euphemisms like making love or sleeping together. And his point was that what Lawrence was doing in Lady Chatterley, and what he believed in too, was that until we were able to say the word fuck as we say the word sleep we would continue to be borne down by this absurd guilt about the one activity that has allowed us to be here in the first place. We wouldn't <laughs> exist without coition, fucking. But why is it that we find it a disgusting word? And the fact that we find it disgusting is what's disgusting, not the word. I mean, if you were really logical about this, you know... <laughs> you know... The, the philosopher's favourite friend, the Martian looking down on this planet, would find it very odd that, we, that words like kill and torture, we can use happily. Oh, the traffic was torture today. Um, and it was so killing. It was just killing. And nobody minds. It's not offensive. But killing and torture are two of the worst things we can do. But if we call someone a fucking <laughs> we, get, we get taken off the air. <laughs> I see that is. <laughs> Do you agree, Lorraine? Well, you're right. if you actually think about it, it's just words, isn't yes. it? It's so you could say one now. Mm. No. Stephen's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just no. explain why yeah. you could. No, Have a stab at a go on. Go on. <laughs> you know you want to.